Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to minimize touch whiz on your Galaxy S6 for a clean stock Android look. Now Samsung makes some of the best hardware out of all the Android manufacturers but their software on the other hand is not exactly known for its polish. The manufacturer skin Samsung applies on top of Android is called TouchWiz. And while some people may appreciate the added features it brings, other folks see this as bloat. Personally, I prefer the clean look and feel of stock Android, basically the Nexus or Google Play Edition experience. So if you feel the same way, I'd like to show you some of the tweaks I've made to get my Galaxy S6 as close to stock Android as possible. First and foremost, one of the easiest ways to change the look and feel of your device is to install a third party launcher. As you can see, I'm using the stock TouchWiz launcher now, and while it's nice and all, it's just not as clean looking as the launcher on stock Android. Well, there are actually several great options for getting that stock Android look on your home screen, and the top three on my list would be Nova Launcher, Apex, and the Google Now Launcher, which is the default home screen app on Nexus devices. To apply one of these to your device, just head to the Play Store and install the launcher of your choosing. Then press your home button. From here, you'll get a message asking which app you'd like to use as your launcher. So in this case, I'll select Google Now Launcher, then press Always to make it the default home screen app. At this point, I've already come a long way in regards to getting that stock look and feel. For instance, there's even a Google Now page baked right into my home screen. And the app drawer is now paginated with a white background. And while I'm flipping through my apps here, you may have noticed that I'm missing a lot of the stock apps that came pre-installed on the Galaxy S6. I actually disabled all of these using a Windows program called Deep Loader, which is my next tip for getting your device closer to the stock Android experience. Basically, you can use Deep Loader to disable or remove any app on your phone, even the ones that you can't normally disable through the application manager. So all that TouchWiz bloatware can easily be removed, and you don't even need to be rooted to do it. And if you'd like some more information about Deep Loader, including which apps are safe to disable, just check out my article on Gadget Hacks. But once you have some of your excess Samsung apps disabled, my next tip is to install their stock Android equivalents. Google has recently started publishing some of the stock Nexus apps on the Play Store, so it's really easy to get these apps nowadays. For example, you can disable the Samsung Clock, Calendar, and Gallery apps, then install the Google Clock, Calendar, and Photos apps instead. So that covers the home screen and the stock apps, but what about the system UI and settings menus? Well, thanks to a new official theme from developer Samer Zayer, you can now make the rest of your phone's interface look a lot more like stock Android. For this one, just head to the Themes entry in Settings, then tap the Theme Store button at the bottom of the page. From here, scroll down a bit, and you'll find Zayer's Material Design theme listed in the Modern and Simple section. Once you've downloaded the Material Design theme, head back out to the Themes menu, then select your new Material Design theme, and hit Apply. It'll take a few seconds for the theme to go into effect, but when it does, your phone software should look a lot more like stock Android. It themes the settings menu, the notification panel, and several stock apps, so you don't have to put up with those tacky touch whiz colors anymore. In the end, this really wasn't that much work at all, and my phone looks and feels a lot less bloated because of it. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com, and as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.